Hey, I'm Jordan Giles. I'm a senior forward for Kansas City men's basketball team, and I'm a native of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I probably fell in love with basketball as soon as I knew what basketball was. Um, my dad named me after Michael Jordan because um, the Bulls played the day I was born. So, and he had a feeling I was gonna like basketball because you know family thing. So uh, that's my middle name. So yeah, that's why I go by Jordan. And uh, yeah, I've been liking basketball for forever. Tuscaloosa is more of a football-oriented city, so I mean, the focus is more on football than basketball. So I mean, my love is for basketball. So um, I had to, I had to find people that had the love for the game as much as I did. I'd honestly say Tuscaloosa is a great city to be in during football season, but after football season's over, it is, it's not all that. I mean, I've always been taught like there's gonna be more to home. You can always visit, visit your family and friends. So, I mean, I enjoy traveling the world, you know, keep playing basketball with my friends. So, uh, I never get homesick. I only got homesick once uh, when I was at prep school and I was in Memphis, so pretty much I know. It's a great feeling passing on the torch because you never have a feeling of uh, you fail your family or you're not going to live up to what they lived up to. But at the end of the day, they're always going to support me no matter what I do. But I have standards for myself, so it's good to fulfill those standards. I'll say my hero is honestly my dad. I mean, other than the dad, he's more like a brother figure. Like, I always call him my twin. Um, I can talk to him for whatever, and um, he's always there for me. Um, it just influenced me because he always, he always pushed me to be the best I can be. He knows my talent and what I can do on the floor, and he's never sugarcoated it with me. So um, I just like to say that he has all the faith in me that a dad should have, and I'm grateful for that. He helped me just by seeing like what other coaching staffs had, like their plan for me. But to be honest, he really just told me to follow my heart and do what's best for me because at the end of the day, he's going to support whatever decision I make. I didn't play basketball in a long time, so I definitely will win because, you know, he's, he's 50, 53 right now, so yeah, he's getting kind of old. To bust me all the time, like I couldn't even contest his shot, like because he's pretty much was taller than me for most of the time until I got to that height. So. Uh, college is a different experience that you only get one time, and you should cherish it. But being a root is just uh, always having a, a family mindset to the people that you work with every day. Um, always working hard and staying passionate. I listen to music a lot before the game, but depending on how I'm feeling, I might listen to something different, something you might not expect for me to listen to before the game. Like, some days I'm gonna listen to, you know, my little Uzi, my Gunner, like all the all the trap music, but then some days I might just listen to some slow, some slow stuff. Like, I might listen to some Drake or some Chris Brown before the game. Like, it just depends. I probably say my junior year when I hit a game winner against the number one team in the state, and we definitely weren't the number one team, so it was definitely an upset. And I probably say playing here in Swinney when I uh, dunked on the seven footer. I mean, I've I have multiple of those, but just because it's in Swinney, you know, it was a it was a good experience.